Every year, many teachers spend money out of their own pockets for supplies and materials, but this year, some teachers say they're spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars more because of COVID-19. ABC 4 education correspondent Sarah Martin spoke to a teacher about what preparing for a COVID classroom is costing. Karen Burns is in the Granite District. She's getting ready for 25 second graders. I mean, we're going into frontline work. Teachers like Ms. Burns go above and beyond constantly, but this year it's hitting a new high. I pulled my school and some friends around the state and the average I would say that people are spending is about 800 to to $1,000 on their own supplies. Most of that money is going to PPE. Teachers are starting to panic. Those districts that have not seen plexiglass or masks or these things coming in yet, um, they're starting to buy their own supplies. Scrubs, because my doctor recommended wearing scrubs to school, they're antiviral. So I spent $100 on masks so far, and I've luckily had 200, another $100 of masks donated. A lot of us have bought desk or room air filters that are about $125 each. But teachers' regular supply costs are also way higher. Kids can't share crayons and pencils this year. Anything that we usually buy in bulk, to save money, we have to buy one for every kid. So our supply budgets are going up exponentially as well. Granite teachers have a supply budget of $250 for the entire year. That's a little higher than average across the state. All of those things that are PPE that are above and beyond what our district is providing comes out of our own pockets and there's no opportunity to get reimbursed. Then there are technology costs for teachers working from home, overtime pay loss for teachers required to teach in person and online, and the physical toll this year is already bringing. It's, it's really horrible to have to make the choice between your personal safety and your job. Ms. Burns' friends have even stepped in to buy her Clorox wipes and extra masks for her classroom. If you have a teacher in your life, do not hesitate to ask them what they need. Reporting, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.